Hello everyone, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. Welcome to my channel. Um, it's going to be an interesting live tonight. I'm a little bit nervous, but um, I'm going to steampunk a horse. So um, I've made a rough drawing of how I'd like it, but you know, things can change. And I'm trying to um, watch chat, but it's pretty hard. So if I miss you or you want to ask a question, you might want to um, write it in capital letters so I can see it. Because I've got to sort of go back and look sideways, if you know what I mean. So I hope um, you can hear me. Crafts from the... Hi, Rayleigh. Uh, no. No, wrong name. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Rayleigh, that's it, Ray, uh, Rayleigh. And hello, Wendy, how are you going? Thanks for popping in. Yes, yes, Rayleigh. And Susan, hi, Susan. I thought I, I, thought I saw you um, come up and it was your first time. So what do you think of my drawing so far? Freehand, eh? Uh, don't be nervous, just do your, yeah, just do my thing, I know. That, that could be a bit of a worry, that. Um, I don't have my glass of wine, I've got my bottle of water with me, so there's my bottle of water. So it's got no colour in it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, so... Um, I did a really rough sketch on some butcher paper yesterday. I felt like it. And I, I'm being honest, I did look at Pinterest as well, just to give me some ideas. I sort of had an idea how I wanted it, but I just sort of wanted to see what's out there. And, um, but I like the chain, the mesh um, effect, so we'll just see. And um, I'm going to chop its mane off today first because that's going to be in the way for what we want to do. So that's going to be interesting of how I'm going to do that. And I've prepared a couple of things because otherwise it's going to take too much time. And like I said, um, and uh, I think I've mentioned it on Facebook that it's not going to get finished tonight. But it's a start, it's a process. And um, usually a horse can take me up to a week to do. Um, sometimes longer and on and off. <clears throat> Some of the projects that I've done have taken me two weeks. But yeah. Um, and I've also got, I might just wait until we get a couple more. But I'll show you. Because when I do, when I do a horse, I also like to do a theme with it. Um, it's not just going to be a horse on a shelf. Um, it's going to be a theme. So where it's going to be placed, I've got a pretty um, rustic looking um, piece of plywood here. And I pinched that from um, when the builder was here. So um, I've let it sort of weather a little bit. But it's going to be, uh, once the horse is, it's going to be the theme of a steampunk um, area as well so you know it'll have rusty cans and all that sort of stuff hi Gra uh, elegant yeah uh, yes grace gracie yes no carla oh diesel yes hello grace um thank you Wendy. <laughs> um yes so the horse will be placed on a board and that's going to be part of the theme as well, just like I did um, Rapunzel, if um, those that have seen Rapunzel, my horse. So, um, Grace, there's my freehand drawing. I used to draw um, a lot of horses in my horse stud days, but um, a bit rusty, but, you know, that's the theme. And the horse that I'm altering is right here. I'm hoping, I might just move this a little bit. Yeah, I'm hoping that you can see that. See that? That's the horse. So that mane's going to get chopped off to start with. Um, yes, it's already um, silver. This one was sent to me 
by Jeannie Dreamer, believe it or not, all the way from America. I've got a couple of horses from the USA, so um, so I might have to adjust the iPad um, a little bit so that when I start, you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to be cutting that off because I want it to look chopped up and look like that. All right? So, okay, just let me get a glass of water. On my bottle I should say excuse me so and then I've got all the ingredients so to speak I've been collecting them and um, I've actually got some gears that the cutouts and they came from um, uh, from Dublin from um, Arts of Life who is uh, oh, I can't even remember the name now I'll, I'll, I'll remember the name. I'll put the link down below when I finish. So over a period of time, I've... Uh, Sheila. Sheila from Arts of Life. Um, Art of Life. And I've been collecting, um, you know, screws and um, tiny little keys. Uh, this is bling of a, um, a tiara of a little girl's princess tiara. I don't chuck those away. I thought, oh, that might come in handy. I think they're separators for when you make a bracelet or something. So I thought that was pretty cool. I think that might be a bit big. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I've got various little things. And then I've got, um, I really like this um, necklace. It's sort of come apart. But I'm thinking of maybe making it part of the chest. Because once it's all coloured um, and painted, I think it'll look pretty cool. So, and the gears, of course, I've got various um, big gears there. And then I've got the little gears here. I've got no idea what I'm doing with these. But anyway, I have watched Sheila from Art of Life because she's done, she done amazing, amazing um, mask in steampunk and a um, shoe. Oh, her work is just exquisite. And... Um, so I learned a little bit off that and she actually used these little things and when I commented on her to find out what they are, she was kind enough to send me um, these with the gears. And um, so, yeah, so these little squares, they come off and they're sticky. See if you can see that. I hope the light's all right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two together because I want that height and I'm going to use that on the face. So I think, um, I mean, the colour's not going to, you know, it's, it's irrelevant because, you know, once it's painted. And then the colours that I've chosen, um, thank you, Bonnie, because it's Bonnie that, um, um, Desi, hi, hi, Desi. Um, when uh, Bonnie did her steampunk journal, I really liked the colour. But I've mixed I forgot to get the purple, but that's okay. I'm not colouring it today. So I've got the um, uh, patina, dark patina, and it's um, metallics acrylic paint. And then I've got the berry, and I really like these colours. I'm not sure if you can see them. The light's probably in the way. Um, and then I've got a little bit of gold. Splendid gold, it's called. And... And then I've got some silver. I don't know why. The horse is silver, but, you know, I really wanted purple. So um, I think by the time I get to the stage of painting, which, um, you know, I might need a big nappy for that because <laughs> I've never done it before. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. And look, I won't be able to look on the screen, so you'll have to... Um, um, I'm in Australia, Desi. Um, a lot of us here are from um, down under. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut this roughly longer than what I want. And um, I might get some petroleum jelly because I like to use that on mains. Um, and hope that it'll stick up so that I can cut it to how I want to cut it. Um, that's Australia, Ella, yeah, <laughs> down under. <laughs> um, okay, so 
Now my scissors, good question, did I have it all here? No, excuse me. So I might sit sideways so I can see your chats, okay. And I might just get my petroleum jelly, just bear with me. Okay, I'm back. It's just good old Coles petroleum jelly. And I use that on all the horses that I do and um, in the hope that it'll stick up for me. And it's easier to cut too. Um, I find that with all of them that I do. Apart from Rapunzel that has that huge mane. Okay, and then I like to start from the bottom because this I'm doing this first because it's got to go out of the way. So I might have to lay this down. Can you see that? I'm just going to cut it in half first or a little bit less than half. It's really hard. I've been asked to do tutorials on my horses, but um, for me it's very hard because I can't sit here, um, you know, for two hours and, and work on one because it doesn't happen for me like that. So it's sticking up, which is good. So I'm just going to cut it a bit longer than... Can you see that? See? Just got a, you know, a week... It's a week between a bad haircut and a good haircut, isn't that what they say? And I usually keep um, this, but in this case I won't because it's too short. Okay, so my idea now is to get it really... Just to see... Can you see that? See if I can move this iPad a little bit, just... Bear with me, I'm going to give you the wobbles here. Hi Susan. Yes, do that Susan, because um, I'm going to be, um, you know, probably only an hour. But like I said, it's, um, it's not a quick project. So I'm doing the main first, okay. So I'm going to cut up a little bit more. And then I'm going to go around here. Sometimes the different sides. I'm just going to cut down here. I'm sorry if my arm is in the way, but you know, one day I'm going to have a proper camera set up. So Wendy, those um, those glass star, uh, star those um, star glass little stars, they turned out pretty cool, eh? I really like them, and especially the sh when they're shattered in the middle. Okay, well I can work with that. Okay, I think I can work with that. So what I'll do is, because I've cut that off now and it's not in my way, I'm going to leave that now. Because I'll be toing and throwing this horse. So if I cut it and shape it how I want it too early, I might end up mucking it all up if you know what I mean. So that's starting to get there, isn't it? Like, can you see that? 
it's starting to get there. So by the time I finished with it, and that's part of this main, by the time I finish with it, it gets straighter and straighter and straighter, and then I can hack into it so that, for those that have just come on, I'll show you the photo. Get rid of this mess. Put that away. So, for those that have just come on, this is how it's going to look, okay? So I've just cut that off. So I'm not going to do the veggies and do all that fine line because as because I'm still working on the horse, it's just all going to get mucked up. So, But I need to cut it off so it's not in the way because I'll be doing stuff along here as well. So my first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue all this mesh on. And the mesh I'm using, don't laugh, is from my from um, an orange bag. You know those big orange bags that you can buy with, I don't know, 10 or 20 oranges in them. So I've got a zipper here as well. I'm not sure whether I use that one or whether I use this one. Um, I think I'll probably use the black one. I might put that in the box. Um, I collected some chain, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, but I'll put it in the box. Okay, now I've got all my bits. I cut the mesh already this morning, just to save on a little bit of time. Okay, I might put this on white paper so that you can see it. And I'll get rid of all these little things here. Out of the way. It's a slow process, but you know. So what I'm going to be doing is, this is all mesh. The mesh is going to come around over to, on the other side, across the back of the um, ears. And I might do a little bit towards the front, and then it comes. Then I'll then I'll have a gear just here, and then the mesh comes down and up and sort of part to the nose there, underneath part of the neck, it comes over the chest like a collar, and then it comes round the part of the belly, and then over to the rump and down to the bottom. Oh, thank you, Susan. <laughs> and um, so that's what I'll, um, that's all the mesh part, okay? So, um, and this is, looks really funny too, because, yeah, it's, um, oh, the question mark relate to, I'm not sure what I want to put here, because these is going to be ch um, looking at either the chains here, and then the, the zippers I was going to, um, if you can see this line here, that's where the zippers go. The zippers sort of come down here and then onto another plate. Okay. And then more mesh just down the bottom on the feet. So it's going to look a little bit weird and wonderful, I think. But I think it's going to be awesome. And then this tube is actually... <laughs> uh, it's from a um, anyone that has dogs and has those... Poo bags, um, that's the inside of that, so I don't throw them away. And um, I've been collecting them, so I thought I need something that is going to make that tail stick up. I think it's probably too high, but I think for this one it's going to look pretty cool. And um, it does, doesn't it? Heavy duty horse. <laughs> heavy, yes, it is, but with a little bit of touch of elegance, I think. Um, I don't want to look at too, make it look too, um, yeah, but anyway, we'll see what happens. It, it might turn out, you know, quite different. So what I've done is I've um, already cut my bits out. And where was my body? Here you go. So I've already cut um, this out. Sorry, ladies. This out here, okay, and that's what I'll be gluing on. Um, I've done the leg. Which, go, which is going to be down the bottom here. I've done the... can't even read my... Um, oh, the cheeks, which is going to be just here. And the rump and the tail is going to be here. Uh, and I do believe... 
cheeks and that's going to be the chest that comes down to here okay so yeah I had to I had to cut these this morning otherwise it's just going to take too much time I mean you know you don't want to see me sit you know, and watch me and uh, fiddle fiddle around here so what I'm going to do and the glue that I'm using is actually this one and I used to in the beginning when I started my horses for those that have haven't seen my horses in the earlier videos I used hot glue and oh burnt every finger on my hand and when I did my stick pins I used this glue and they stuck and stuck and stuck and I thought well hello so I've practically gone away from hot glue and because I used to do a lot of shabby chic stuff and lace stuff um, but I've kept this and I use this for all my crafts now and this is going to be wonderful on here okay if it makes a little bit of a mess I don't care because like I said it's going to um, get painted so the best thing for me to the place for me to start is always start on the biggest piece and then make work my way um, to it so let's have a look here so I've cut the back in one piece okay and I might have to if it doesn't lay flat I might have to I will it's not might I will make a little more of a slit because I want it to sit flat because when that glue goes down I don't want to be standing here or sitting here all night watching it so that's how that sits and then um, I'll do the rump last this is this is the chest so what I've got to work out is where that chest goes here and it just meets up quite technically you know um, meets up with that okay so it's got to come around so what I'll do is I'll glue this on first because it's going to just bother me otherwise so okay I'll just put this pin away and I'm always very 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 I better get something now generous with um, my glue which is probably not the best thing for it but I always want to make sure it sticks and I just cover it quite generously and just plonk it on there and just give it a quick and just hope it just stays so you don't worry about all these little bits because it's going to all get covered when I paint it but I just got to have pressure on it for a little while so it doesn't it dries pretty quick I, I really like this glue um, if you are chatting amongst you please do because I'm not looking at the screen at the moment so I'm sorry if I've missed anything so okay so that's the other side and I'll try to mold it with the body so if I've got to cut it I'll have to cut it because um, it's got a mold to the body and I might have to add a little bit more to it. I'm not sure. I've got plenty of it. I mean, it was a big bag of um, oranges, you see. So that's what I used. Okay. So I might stick a little bit on here. And I want to make sure there's no air in there. I just want to make sure it sticks right down. And I've got to have my wipe somewhere. Okay, so that's it there. And I just, yeah, I apply it generously. I don't muck around because you don't want it to come off. And this horse has been uh, painted at one stage. Now I don't want to crease in there, I want it flat. So you see what I mean, these sort of things take time, you know. Like, And I've had this horse sitting um, beside my desk, and that's what I do with every horse. When I know what I want to make, you know, do with it, I sit it so I can look at it every day when I'm in the craft room and get my ideas and plan it. That's how I do my horses. 
This one I've done a little bit different. Um, I actually drew the bit of a diagram. And uh, the others I usually just do by the feel of, and I'll just go with the flow. But this one I think I just had to do um, a little diagram so I, so I know where I'm going, what I'm doing. But, you know, imagine when you're painting and the texture on that. I think it would be unreal. What do you think, Wendy? Because um, you do steampunk too, I think. I don't know if Bonnie's here. Is Bonnie here? I'm just having a look at the chat. Natalie. Hello, Nat. Oh, yes. Hi, Bonnie. Oh, spider video. Oh, okay. So a bit more glue here. So you'll see, I'm sorry Bonnie if I can't um, say hi when you've come on, but I can't watch and do this at the same time. Okay, a little bit there. I always like to glue it on straight away so I don't have to go back to it. I might just get something to do that, just bear with me. There you go. I use my letter opener instead of my fingers. See, I've got a bubble in there. I don't like bubbles. Don't like bubbles. I've got to sit flat. Beautiful. The onions out of this bag were quite nice, as a matter of fact. So you can't kill spiders, eh? Bluey had rock melon and water today, Bonnie, by the way. Okay, right. Now, chest. I can't remember how I, oh yes, I had it like this. So this is going to be the chest part and I want it to come down like that, okay? About there. So, I think I might even do that there. You'll have to bear with me, ladies. You might have to watch it after. See this horse has got this um, curve just here, so I'm trying to get into that curve, oh there you go, no. I'm trying to get into that curve and then I might have to cut this to make it go around, sort of like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Yep. Yeah, you're there Bonnie, hi Bonnie. Okay, let's do it. I know it's a lot of glue, but you know. I'm going to wipe that off my fingers. So what I'm doing is I want it to come about there. It's going to be an elegant steampunk horse, Bonnie. Elegant. I've seen some elegant steampunks horses and I thought yeah I can do that okay so I might have to cut this okay so to get it around that curve but I might glue it first and I didn't prepare this horse I just wiped it um, I don't usually um, sand them or anything like that the glue sticks pretty well to it this one does, it's just amazing. And now that I don't have to use the glue gun and end up scorching every finger on my hand. Okay, so you can see I'm just cutting this. Probably the seamstress in me. Um, 
more glue. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Here is the um, the video as far as the um, picture that you can see. I can I can't see much because the chat's covering it up. Is the light okay? Uh, picture's good. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Yeah, it was good last in the last live too. It's quite amazing. Oh, thank, thank you, Riley. Um, okay, so there it is there. And the glue is actually discolouring some of this paint, but who cares? I don't. Um, when it's all done, so that's, you know, that's the shape. I might add more here because I think it needs more here. Um, and then what I do is I do the other side because I want that to correspond. I need another drink of water. Yes, I don't have wine or plonkety plonk. I've got water. One litre bottle. Now, um, once I've glued this on, I'm just going to have a look to see who, was he, who wasn't here in the beginning. And I'll show you that picture again. And um, it gives then this a bit of time to the glue to set a little bit more. And I should be closing that cap. So just bear with me and I'll have a look at chat in a tick. Yeah. See how I'm trying to get that about the same. Which is okay. So I can now wear my wipes. Oh, here we go. Oh, excuse me, I've just got to get my wipes because my finger is getting disgusting. See? Look at me, disgusting finger. Um, okay, so. Because this has got to set for a little bit before I do a little bit more. Oh, take the cap off, Krista. Unbelievable. I'm going to the markets tomorrow, believe it or not. It's a last minute decision. And um, I've got the old fashioned 1950s suitcase. And I've put all my journals in that and that's how I'm going to display it. So I don't need a big table. Just big enough to put my suitcase on, open her up. And there are the journals. So I wish me luck tomorrow. See how they go. I'm saving up for a laptop. End of story. Okay, so. Now. Sorry if I can't, if I'm not answering any of your questions. Or taking part in your cool conversations. Now, I didn't have to um, cut this one like I had the other side. So I'm just wondering why. It's a little bit uneven there, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, this didn't rise it did. Okay. All right, so I've got this down. Okay. Double. Hate that when that happens. Don't want bubbles. Let's see if I can take that off. Yep. Tidy it up a little bit. Okay. All right. So that's it done. I mean, it doesn't look like anything at the moment. So, all right, I'm having a look at chat, chat, and, um, chat and who wasn't here in the beginning when I showed the diagram? Is there anybody here that 
didn't see the diagram of the horse. Ah, oh, you didn't see it, Natalie. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Late comer. That's all right, Natalie. This is, this is, um, I didn't have a sneak, but I did. Okay, all right. What I'll do is, for those that haven't seen the diagram of the horse, this is the steampunk horse. Okay. We've um, chopped the mane. I've chopped the mane, but I haven't cut it to style yet. I'll leave that to, to last. So we've done this part of the mesh, and this is the mesh, but I might bring that down a bit. I can just add to it. So the next part of the mesh will be coming up around to the ears. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, I used, to, I used to sketch a lot of horses when I was working at the horse stud, you see. Um, many many moons ago Wendy and then I've got the mesh coming over to the face and back down again and the mesh then goes over to the rump and down between the cheeks and the mesh is also on the bottom near the hooves uh, the gears I'm gonna have I was gonna have one gear but I'm gonna have two gears and um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, no, um, I don't. Um, a lot of my horses are just by the feel, but what I do do is, um, like I meant, said before, is when I do horse, I have it in my craft room where I look at it every day, see it every day, pass it every day, and that gives me ideas. And then I think, oh yes, and then I collect things for it. And I said, yes, that's, and then I've got the picture and then I'm ready to do it. Like this horse has been beside my craft table since before Christmas, so. Okay, so, and of course the tail's gonna be chains, some chains, some tail. Um, Yes, but we'll see, and the same, and of course forget the fringe because I've accidentally chopped it off. So there you go, I've made one boo-boo for the night. So I'll probably have um, chains coming from where I've cut it down, very softly. It's a very soft little chain with some dangles. So, and then of course I've got all my um, gears and bits and pieces that I've collected, my keys. You, I hope you're all having a bit of fun over there, laughing out loud, I can see. Um, a zipper that I use to twine around the legs. So I've got a little keys, nuts and bolts, and I've collected, you know. So I don't know how I'll use them, but I will as I go along. But if I can get this mesh on, um, I'm happy. Okay, back into it. Um, did that make sense um, at all for you? I'm just cleaning my... This is actually my letter opener and I've had it for about 20 years and it's a stainless steel letter opener and I use that to hold down any glue and it's... Um, with wild coal wipes, it just comes up like new. Okay. So we've done that. So as you'll see now is... What, what's going to happen now is I'm going to do the rump. So I've got my little rump piece here. See, it's not steak, Bonnie, it's rump of the horse. Okay. And I've already cut that. I've got to remember how it was. I think it was that way. Just let me have a look here. That's right, I cut it. So it's going to go just like that, just like that, and comes down. And I have cut it here so that it overlaps and goes in here. Yes, thank you, Grace. I hope so. It's going to be an elegant steampunk horse, all right? Let's make this horse elegant. And then this is just going to come around like that. So, that's, so let's glue this part on. 
Now for those that need to um, have got plans and need to go out tonight, that's okay. I understand. Um, I was going to do a slideshow of the progress of um, this like I did in the very beginning of my being on the YouTube channel. I did process videos on sp via slide. But um, I've had so many requesting to do a live. Well, it's a bit hard, but um, I'll get there because I can't watch chat at the same time. So, I'm going to... So, I've put that on here now. So, I'm going to do a little bit of them here. That takes away the longest. You end up changing your mind. I've done that a few times with horses, I tell you. I sort of have it in my mind how I want it. And then as I'm doing, I'm going, nah, don't like it. And then I change it. Um, I have got some amazing, some amazing um, creatures that I found in an op shop not long ago. And, oh, I can hardly wait. And one of them um, starts with a D. Any guesses? Starts with a D. You're not going to believe me if I told you. Starts with a D. If you're still here, it starts with a D. No, it's not a dog. Horse, uh, femur, I don't know. <laughs> Both, maybe. <laughs> Bingo, Wendy. <laughs> I would have thought Bonnie would have got that one. <laughs> I suppose you might want a sneak peek, do you? <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. Okay. Um, so is, did, did Bonnie faint? I can't see Bonnie. Because um, Bonnie likes dragons. Yeah. So, so... Did you get that, Bonnie? Did you get that? Huh. Might be on a cup of tea break or toilet break. Or cat break. Oh, she's off in a world of her own. Yes, well. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Okay, so we're looking at this now. I'm just... Um, doing a bit more I should be using my because this is a lot better than my finger it's probably not that healthy for you I like your um, channel name Rayleigh that's so cool okay now we've got a little bit sticking here and sticking there just don't do anything you're not supposed to do here, horse. So, um, so because I'm putting this up, because I've cut it, and I'm going to take this point off, because I don't want that there. I just want it here. So I just get rid of this here. Oh, did I get that? Sorry if I'm... So it's Bonnie back. Ah. Oh. I know, she likes to do her own thing, that lady. Poor horse, it probably feels a little bit invaded, but that's okay. They all feel like that. It's better than being neglected. I used to work for the RSPCA, volunteer for the RSPCA. When I was in my late 20s, and some of the things i seen with horses, I don't want to see ever again. So, actually I might just cut that off. I don't want to, I'm going to worry about that hollow bit. I suppose I've got to make that longer now that it's chopped off. Sorry, I'm on, probably off camera there, getting a bit carried away. Oh, 
we're going to, we're leaving again on um, Tuesday. Won't be back till Friday. Puppy's got another appointment. Cochlear and hearing aid. It's all good, just adjusting and stuff. And that's in Ballina, so it's a fair way away. So we stay with some friends and um, so it's not so long. Okay, so what I'm doing now is, I think they're scraps. Um, because this one's longer than this one, I'm going to just attach this one here. Like that. Like that. Because I want it to be longer. I know you've got to close the bottle, but I can't when I'm doing this. Can you see? Sorry. This probably was in the way. And then I'm just going to go in here. Cut that off. Okay. Okay, now. Cloth. The only thing with these um, things here, it's just glue, glue, glue. Well, I'd rather have that than burnt fingers. I tell you, I used to have six, seven blisters on my hands when I used my glue gun for my horses. Okay, so that's starting to look a little bit better. Okay, did I miss anything? Hi, Lynn. How are you going? Good to see you here, Lynn. So, like I said, I'm not going to be too worried with the little bits of glue that are on there. But it's, I just want the effect. So, when I paint it, that's what I want. I want that effect. Um, I'll probably add a little bit here. I think that needs adding. Maybe. By the time I put the gears on um, here, the chains, I might do a, I think I'm, I might add a bit here, but I want to do the cheeks. And the cheeks, I think I did. I have to close this glue now. Where's the cap? What do I do with that cap? Don't we just love it when we can't find the cap? Pin will do. There you go. Okay. I have got, if you what, doubled what? You're doing one of my favourite things. A oh, highling, yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, this horse has been in the making for a while. I've, I've been want to do it since before Christmas so I've been having it in my room and just looking at it and you know that's how I get my inspiration so yeah um so what I'm doing now is now who said something about doubled up who said that what's doubled up I'm just trying to be sociable here doubled up what what was doubled up And then what I want to do is I want to put it over here. Oh, hi, Lynn. I better show you the photo, uh, the sketch that I made for the horse. Oh, the netting. Okay, yes. Two layers of netting. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think it needs two layers of netting, do you? Um, because I've got other stuff that I want to do, put over the top to give it a bit more dimension. And that is... Um, you know, some of something like that, but I want to do that later, um, just to give it in certain areas a little bit more dimension. That's what I got that for. No, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Lynn, did you see that photo? Are you there, Lynn? That's what what I'm planning of my. 
Um, okay, get some glue off. All right, now. So, I did cut some pieces out for the cheeks. Oh, did you see that? Good. Read Bailey's comment. Uh, I can't see comments. It's okay, Wendy. LOL. Um, sorry, Rayleigh. My comments disappear in a split second because I can't watch and craft at the same time, so I have to have a look at it. Where is Cheeky Sue Freeman? Someone wake her up. Well, you're not, you are not. won't awake when we're talking about the D word, um, Bonnie. You know? Um, okay. Back into it. Sorry, ladies. Can't. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get trying to get this in here like that and it comes over like this and it's supposed to go over like that can you see what I mean by that and then I'm going to have a little um, gear just on the cheek oh bye oh, bye bye Grace have a good night have a good weekend okay I'll have to read the comments later to catch up with you ladies. I'm going to lay this baby down now. Sorry ladies, I can't look at chat. That's okay, I hope. I like to do an interactive um, live one day, but only when I have my own a proper setup, you know. Do I want that down there? Don't know. I don't know if I want that down there. I want that to come take that off I don't want it to come across poor horse getting turned upside down Preparation is always to takes the longest, isn't that right, Lynn? Because I know some of your um, work is quite amazing. It's the preparation before you can actually decorate it all. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry, ladies. Now, if you've got to go, I understand, because I'll only probably be able to do the mesh for tonight. And like I said, I'll be away again, back on Friday. No, I didn't swear, you didn't hear that. Can you see that? Sorry. And this glue sticks really well, eh? I love it. And even in the heat, the sunroom in here was um, 43 degrees the other day. 
and I've got Rapunzel in here. It's the only horse I didn't want to sell. I made it, it was a um, an order for someone, but they changed their mind. And that's okay. Um, because I loved it. Okay, so there is, there is the face. So the gear is going to cover most of that anyway. The net because I just want the net to come a little bit and then the, the gear comes here and then I'll, I'm going to either do a chain and I've got those little studs that go down to the nose okay and um, and then I've just got that mesh coming down like that so I think I might cut this little bit off here because that's bugging me just that one there, it's just a corner, it should be a little bit round. So what's the weather like your way, Lynn? Cold still? Would be, of course. Silly question, Krista. Okay, so that's that one. So we're getting to that stage. Need voice? What voice? Oh, very cold here. In the oh, yes, it would be. Um, yes. Of course. Did you have much snow, Lynn? Because I know the States did. So lots of laughs. Okay, I'll have to catch up on chat and have a laugh then, I think. You ladies are pretty funny. Okay, I'm sitting on mesh here. I'm sitting on the horse's cheek. Oh, unbelievable. And I found my cap. <sighs> Super Saturday. Okay. So, had a bit last week, but it's all gone now due to more. Oh, okay. All right. Now, here's the other cheek. I think I'll only be doing this cheek, and then I'm going to be doing... Um, this part of the leg and I'm not sure what I'll do next I'll have a look and I'm not sure what I've done here is it this way or is it this way is this the right piece Krista Don't you just hate that when that happens? I thought I had the right piece, but I've got two pieces here. The white bit, the white bit, the white bit. Okay. Can you see what I'm not doing? <laughs> okay, now we're talking with turkey. Um, I'll probably have to cut that down a little bit. Please, I know you are all talking amongst yourselves. That's okay. I want to make sure my horse survives in this life, so I've got to concentrate on my horse, haven't I? Hey? Okay. Sure that oh thank goodness that fan's finished. 
noisy thing. Okay. So, um, I like to make sure it's always the same. I've got to cut that. I thought it was a bit, looked a bit strange. Can you see that? Am I, am I, yeah. Any of you when you work, work with your tongue half hanging out of the mouth to make sure that it turns out all right? <laughs> if you see me in the camera, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Okay. Lay him down. Or her. I don't know what it is. Him, her. I like to keep it a bit of a feminine touch, this girl here, I think. Not sure what I'm going to call her yet. That's okay. It doesn't take long to dry, but for it to get going, it takes a little bit. It takes time, those things, don't they? Come over. Oh, sorry, I'm going to come over about there. If he's a, if he's a leaving and um, and I can't see he's leaving, that's okay. Have a good weekend, and I'll. Whose idea was it to do this steampunk horse? Anyway, eh? don't we just all have a don't we all have a challenge? Eh? We have to challenge ourselves, don't we? Okay, time to glue. Can you see that? Sorry, ladies. Can you see? I mean, I'm not too concerned because it's a bit cornered because I'm going to put that gear on there. I'll cover all that up. Just need that to go on there. Okay. Goes on there. Is it okay? So I have, did Bonnie figure out what the letter D meant? Oh, everybody's probably gone, Brenda. I use all crafting. Stick. Well, now that. Beautiful. Yeah, I should have, I probably should have come over. You can see it's round here. And this one is more square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bit off. Pause. 
going to get covered with the gear anyway. But the top part is a bit wide. Okay. All right. So, is everybody still there or have you all gone home? I understand. Um, I'm just going to do the um, bottom part here. Those four legs. And then I'm going to call it a night. Because I'm sure you all don't want to watch me glue this um, mesh on here. Catch you later. Thank you very much, Wendy. Oh, hi, Susan. You're still here. Rayleigh, you're still there. Oh, cool. Um, of course, I've got... I'm just doing the legs now. You're still there. Hi, Karina. How you going? So what I've done is I've already pre-cut my little bits for the legs, okay? And um, have a good day tomorrow, Wendy. It just saves a bit of time. Um, Crafted season. Was that you, Shaz? Was that you, Shaz? No. Oh, hi, Shaz. How are you going? It was you. It is you. How cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing a steampunk horse, Shaz. And, um, you know, everyone wants to see the process. We get video, but you know, it's not a it's not a instant thing with me. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you the picture, Shaz, because I've made a sketch of what this um, steampunk hall is going to look like. So I'm doing um, the mesh just here and here and here. I've done that, and now I'm going to do some mesh down the bottom of the hoofs down here okay um, and then I'll probably call it a night but ah oh, thank you <laughs> yeah but it's not a shabby sheet course or um, a themed um, you know fairy tale horse it's going to be an elegant steampunk horse so um, what we did um, tonight because it had a long mane so I've chopped the mane off um, which you'll see right here okay and, but I haven't styled it yet. I've, I've uh, greased it with petroleum jelly or Vaseline, whatever you want to call it, and um, made it really, really greasy so that it just, you know, has time to set and stay nice and straight. And it's when I finish working on the body, it's when I'll do it, but I had to take it off because it was in the way and because I'll be doing stuff along here as well. But um, at least it's got chopped off. So that's what I did tonight. And then, of course, I've applied all the mesh, which takes time. It's not a quick thing like we know with crafts. So, yeah, so that, that's what it's going to be looking like, okay? These are all gears, and they're going to be double gears. So I'm going to have a big gear and a small gear. This one, I've got a big gear and a small gear. All right, Desi, thank you very much for popping in. And yes, I'll, I'll try to have a good market tomorrow. Thank you. Um, it's going to be nice and hot, but that's okay. I'll be under a tree. Have a great weekend. And um, and then I'm going to have gears here, Shaz, big and small. And these are sort of like chains that are connecting the gears, coming down the leg. And then I'm going to put a plate just here. And, um, and then... This here, this line here, represents, um, I'm looking at putting the edge of a zipper on there. See that? So that's what I'm doing with um, that as well. So that's sort of going to come down here like that and down like that and sort of connecting to it all. Um, these here are going to be um, 
these ones. Um, these were gifted to me by Sheila from Arts of Life. You probably all know Sheila. And um, she did a steampunk mask. Oh, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And she used these. And um, I asked her about where to get them. Well, lo and behold, she sent them to me with the gears, the cutout gears. And um, I'll just show you Shaz because I'm not sure whether you've seen it. See? She sent me all these beautiful gears. They're the ones I've chosen. There's a lot more. And then I've collected all these bits and pieces to put on the horse, hopefully. You know, a little key and, you know. Um, this one I think is too big. I don't think I'm going to be using that. But, yeah, and I'm looking at using this here. This is really pretty. It was a necklace. And um, I might do something with it. Be the last thing that I'll put on there. So they're the bits and pieces, Shaz. And the paints that I'm using are these acrylic paints. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. This is like a um, dark patine, patina. They're metallic acrylic paints. This one is a berry and a gold. And I meant to get a purple and I ended up getting a silver. Duh, I've got a silver horse. Um... So I'm yet to get the purple, but they're the paints. And that's going to be um, quite nerve-wracking for me. I might have to wear a big nappy that night because I've never used these before. Okay. So, so are you happy with that, Chaz? What do you reckon? Hmm? Hello, Natalie. Okay. So I'm just going to put my little mesh pieces. Oh, I might get some white paper so you can see um, I'm going to get um, I've cut these little mesh pieces out so I've already um, um, measured them and cut them out this morning just to save a little bit of time and they're going to go on the bottom because the plate's going to be here so it's all going to be sort of like interconnecting if you know what I mean so let's put them on And they're only going to go up to um, the fetlock of the of the leg. And I'll just put that on there. Probably have to go up a little bit. And I like to always put a join towards the back. It takes a little while to to set when. Um, when you go around the corner. And I don't want any air bubbles. So I'm holding this really tight. Get that glue off my finger. And then I'm going to Lay it down. Okay, one down. So it takes a bit of um, whew, it takes a little bit of time, but that's got a bubble in it, which is no good. Don't want a bubble in it, like a little air pocket. I want that stuck to its leg. Okay, beautiful. Oh, okay. Craft on the note, Karina. You're welcome. Put 
have a nut before you leave. <laughs> That's right, ladies, talk amongst yourselves because I can't see chat. I'll have the pleasure of enjoying the chat when I watch the um, replay. Okay, now I'm doing this a bit more generous now. I don't think I put enough on that last one. Don't want any little pockets. Get that out of the way. Can you see that? See if I can do this all in one this time. Yeah, got to do bit by bit. I thought I could cheat. I thought I could cheat. So I do this process whether I'm live or not. So what you see is this is how I do my horses. And um, like I said, I do them. This is the first one that I've made a sketch for. Because I thought, oh, I've never done steampunk. Well, I've never done anything else either. But it just, um, I felt that it needed a design so that I could work off. Whereas my other horses, it sort of just comes and it just flows through. Because you don't want a bubble in there because you still want to shape of the leg. Okay, that's my aim. I'm not sure if it'll work, but that's my aim. Okay, so that's two done. I'm just having a look to see if anybody's there. It's okay. I'm being very generous with this glue. Uh, am I in? Oh, I am in that. That's okay. And I try to put that in the back. Put that in the back. This one might be a bit long, actually. Cut it off. Just cut this off a bit. You can hear the hotel down the road we've got a karaoke night and um, sometimes that sounds pretty funny but it's good it's a small town they're having a good time as long as they don't get rowdy so you get pretty messy fingers with this one That's okay. It's worth it at the end. So this is uh, Jeannie Dreamer's horse, Shaz. The one that she gifted me, if you're still here. And um, and Lynn, this is Jeannie sent me this horse, and uh, quite a surprise. A while ago, I've got a couple of horses that people have sent me. Um, Deb Henry sent me a horse last year, and um, a Bonnie here in Australia she sent me a little horse as well. So. I've Let's do lucky last and we can call it a night. I can let you ladies go. 
and I won't touch it until I get back so that'll be um, a week I'll be away leaving on Tuesday Now isn't it always the way the last leg comes up perfect how I want it, all in one go. Okay, glue, glue, glue. Don't we love our wipes? No, and all these things. But it was too good to be true. The paint's coming off. You can see the colour. <laughs> the paint's coming off. I just have to hold it for a little while. As long as my finger doesn't get stuck on it. Probably put too much glue on it. I mean, if you overdo it, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Look at it. It's disgusting. Okay. Done. So we've done that first first stage. Oh, anybody that's still here, good on you. Um, that's fantastic. Um, I'm just having a look at chat. So if you're still here, just say Hi. Jasmine, we all need a laugh at time. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so the mesh is done. I think what I'll probably do by the time I get to the next video, I would have added a little bit here. I think this needs a little bit of adding here, just here. Um, and uh, let me have a look here. What did I have? Did I miss something? I think I might have missed the one under the neck. Oh yes, I've still got this to do, okay? This bit here, forgot that. That's what that bit was for. I thought there was another bit. There it is there. Okay, but I'll leave that. And um, <laughs> oh yes, thank you, Lynn. Um, it won't be for about another week. So, But it's a start. It's the process of it all. And you can see what it's going to look like. Um, I really enjoyed that you um, ladies take interest in um, in the process of this. I know a lot of you has been wanting to for me to share it. Um, this is a little bit different to my shabby chic and other sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to call a night and really, really thank you for sticking it out. Um, hello, hello, Teresa. How are you going? Oh, you love watching craft shows. I didn't see you earlier, sorry, because I can't see chat and I and glue at the same time. Um, but thank you for popping in and subscribing to everyone. And um, yeah, so I hope you have a, a great weekend, Chaz and Lynn. And um, have a great, yes. Thank you, Chaz. Thanks, Rayleigh. Hope it wasn't too boring because this part is always, um, the prep's always a bit boring. The fun stuff comes when you um, decorate it all with all the nuts and bolts and chains and whatever. Okay then, have a good night.
thanks for uh, watching oh yes i'll i'll keep the progress going um susan so the I, like i said the only thing i'll be doing is probably i'm going to put more mesh on here and i won't go the, on the live for that so the next live um will probably be putting all the various studs you know the painting probably comes very last and uh, second last and then the mane gets done last and the tail get done last and I've popped this tail through a tube oops to keep it out of the way and um, so yes now you'll see the process okay so you'll see the progression so thanks everyone and um, God bless and um, <laughs> thanks Susan awesome and until next time Bye. Good night and good morning to everyone else.